Hello, Olga Lamaca here, your fashion and art correspondent. Today we're in Madrid at the Tissan Bernemitz Museum, which is hosting a unique and most significant retrospective of the French fashion designer, a living legend, Hubert de Givenchy. Givenchy, who has curated this exhibition himself, has selected around 100 of his finest creations, loaned from the museum and private collections worldwide, many of them never previously displayed in public before. He was born in 1927 to an old noble family. Having lost his father, he was raised by his mother and grandmother, from whom he inherited his passion for fabrics. At 17, he headed for Paris, at the same time inheriting the design philosophy of his idol and mentor, Balenciaga. In 1952, he established his own couture house, La Maison Givenchy, and quickly followed that with being the first couturier to present a ready-to-wear line, a luxurious ready-to-wear line. In 1954, Givenchy met his muse, the rising star of the day, Audrey Hepburn, when she made a visit to his studio in search of costume ideas for her next role, Sabrina. She found what she was looking for, and what's more, she had written in her film contracts that her costumes could only be designed by Givenchy in future. May I ask you why this exhibition is being hosted in Madrid and not Givenchy's home country? The relations between Uberta Givenchy and Spain are enormous. I mean, uh, first of all, because uh, uh, his mentor and master, Mr. Cristobal Valenciaga, uh, he's from Spain and he's a person that always, you know, uh, was really close to, to Mr. Givenchy on his personal and professional, you know, uh, career. When, you know, the Museum Tissen Bornemisa uh, offer the possibility of hosting the exhibition uh, for him was really important that it was a museum and a museum with such an important art collection because the relation between Hubert de Givenchy and the art has been always very, very close. Mr. Hubert de Givenchy has two main meetings in his life. The first one was with Cristobal Valenciaga, the second was, was with Audrey Hepburn. These two persons has been essential in the life of Mr. Hubert de Givenchy. With Cristobal Valenciaga, he learned uh, the first thing, you know, the importance of the fabrics, the importance of the tissues. And the second lesson he learned was that, you know, minimum in a haute couture would be the best. Do you expect a great success for this exhibition here in Madrid? I'm sure that, you know, it's going to be a big success uh, mainly because it's the opportunity of watching the work of art of the last couturier of the great splendor of the haute couture of the 20th century. He opened his uh, Maison in 1952 and he did his last collection uh, for the 96 uh, spring collection. Then we wanted to show all the pieces that can, in a way, uh, portray uh, the, the beauty of his uh, career. 
What do you think is the secret of Givenchy's success in the fashion industry? First of all, because uh, he has been able to, to create pieces that involve all the, all the lessons he learned from the different masters that he had, you know, all the things he learned with uh, Lelon, with Faz, with Schiaparelli and with Valenciaga, he was able to portray them in, in their pieces. Secondly, because he has been able to, to, to pass to the history as elegance and sophistication, but at the same time, he was really transgressor. He was one person that when he made his first collection, he started to use fabrics that till this moment they were not using haute couture. You must have your favorite piece in this exhibition. What is it and could you tell us the story behind it? There are so many pieces I would like to, uh, in this exhibition. You know, uh, it's clear uh, that the homage that uh, Mr. Hubert de Givenchy is making to Audrey Hepburn uh, uh, has created so memorable pieces that, you know, always we go there to select them, you know. But I love the pieces that, you know, uh, uh, he relates to, to the history of art, you know. Even the pieces that just behind us, you know, related to the creation of Sonia and Robert Delaunay, I believe that they are of a beauty that is incredible, you know. It is the color of life. Uh, all these pieces are, are very important. And mainly the pieces where the black is the main um, subject in the creation of the, of the garment. Whatever piece in black, uh, for me, would be pieces that uh, are favorite. This is an exhibition not to be missed, to be seen with your own eyes. I cannot recommend it highly enough.